Hi, my name is Ben Davis. I am the president of Speak Up, Speak Out, and I've been involved with this since it started. I want to make a difference in other people's lives. I've been a UCP customer for about seven years. I live in southeast Portland. Hello, my name is Lucian Jones, and I've been involved in Speak Up, Speak Out for several years. I've had heard about the group from my personal agent and thought it would be good for me. I thought it would help me learn to say things for myself that I need to say that can be hard thing for me to do. Sometimes I'm just not comfortable speaking with other people. I feel like Speak Out, Speak Out has helped me with this. It's also something I enjoy. Being scared of sharing my opinions can sometimes be a barrier, but I want to keep working on this. After the election, I wasn't surprised, but I was worried that the whole world would fall apart. It felt good to go to Salem the next month to talk to the apologists, to talk with them about my story. I felt pretty good after talking with them and it helped me feel about uh, feel less fe fearful. I want to keep practicing these skills, learning to share my opinion with others. Speak Up, Speak Out has a self-advocacy group and has been around for about four years. It's open to UCP connect Connections customers only. We meet monthly at UCP, and we try to speak up, speak up for our rights, learn about ourselves and our community, and we advocate for brokerage services in Salem. We have a diverse group of people that has helped us learn new skills and learn more about ourselves. In the last year, we've learned and done activities at Human Rights, how services are funded, and our personal strengths and values, the history of disability services and other topics. One unifying thing we found within our group is that Each person attends to, uh, attends to help find their voice in some way or another. One of the things I appreciate of the self-advocacy group is that it helped me to appreciate diversity, be more tolerant, and take more initiative in standing up, for, standing up when I need to. I enjoy getting, experiencing new things and opportunities. It has helped me to grow as a person. I've learned about people who have, who have had challenges from all walks of life, and it's helped me to connect more in, in help, helping to, me to understand others. It also has helped me to learn and to grow and to advocate for myself, but, I also, and, but also how to advocate on behalf of others. I've experienced my box, I've expanded my box, and learned to be more versatile in ways when I interact with people. When I was younger, I used to not accept my challenges. I wanted to simply overcome them, as if they simply could be overcome if I had enough willpower and discipline. Like, like, it, like it wasn't a part of me, and I could just conquer it. I realized that I have to come to grips with my disabilities and use them to help others, making adjustments when I need to. As I, got, as I get older, I might be more impacted with my disabilities. But if I learn to cope now, I can use my disabilities to help others. If I thought dealing with autism wasn't enough when I was in my early 20s, I had to come to grips with another disability that impacts me even more than my autism. That's really when I began my journey to look at things differently. This journey in self-advocacy has helped me to be a better leader. I'm genuinely concerned about other members of Speak Up, Speak Out, I learned that I am good at helping others advocate and advocating for others. For me, that's, pers that's personal advocacy is more of a priority than political advocacy, telling your story and uh, being a good human being. This is why I keep coming back. I first got involved in advocacy through a, through a group called Self-advocates taking action. Honestly, I was motivated uh, because of other reasons. I figured what better way to find 
Oh wait, hold on. I'm I'm sorry. I uh, I got carried away. I'm uh, I'm all done and thank you. <laughs> I'm John. I first got involved in self advocates are in self advocacy through a group called Self Advocates Taking Action. Honestly, I was motivated because I wanted to find a girlfriend. I figure what better way to find a special someone than in a group of passionate people, but since then I've just kept on going. This legislative session, I've been going to Salem to meet with our legislators and ask them for continued funding for disabled services. This year I have been making trips twice monthly to Salem. In the past few months, I've also been organizing with a new advocacy group, the Coverage Defense Committee, who is working to protect federal funding for Medicaid services. I've used my filming skills to record people's service stories, and those stories have now gone nation are used in nationwide advocacy efforts. There goes my filming career. <laughs> my long-term goal is to one day visit Washington, D.C. and share my message of funding disabled services. People need to know that funding community-based services is much more cost-effective than emergency crisis care. Doing the right thing also saves us money. In the meantime, I am working on a new project. I am working locally to pass a new state law that improves the rights and protections of consumers, customers. Speak Up, Speak Out is an important part of my advocacy because I get to learn new stuff and make new relationships. But also because I can share my advocacy I am doing with the rest of the group. Thank you.